right, guys. So last that we left off is that we received our inventory items. So we should have already updated our inventory. I see that the last worksheet that we left off was here, right? On June 24th, we entered in our um, purchase of items here. And we also did a purchase returns because we had five cracked mugs, okay? So here, we're done with that. And we're now moving on to the next one because this is where we left off. So let's go ahead and deliver our coffee to Katie. And let's journalize. All right. Let me make it a little bigger. All right, so... Let's go. So what should we do here? Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable, right? Because this time here we're given her terms, right? Nowhere does it say that she made a payment or anything to this. So we are going to be, she is going to owe us on an account. And that account number is 11 Zero, zero, zero. What did she buy from us? Um, total is two sixty five forty three. She bought coffee. She bought coffee. Let's see if and I can. Ceramic mugs. Let me see if I can find a transaction here. Here you go. Sales. Regular coffee sales, supreme coffee, and ceramic mugs. And she bought ceramic coffee mugs. Okay, the regular coffee was for sixty five eighty. I'm sorry, I gotta go back to accounts receivable first. Accounts receivable is a debit of two sixty five forty three. Oh, it's okay. We'll just use since it's only the accounts receivable, I'll I'll wait for that to be last. I'll use that as my equal okay. sign. Okay. So the regular coffee was sixty five eighty, supreme coffee was fifty nine eighty five. And the mugs were one oh nine seventy eight. Oh, and then we had a delivery charge too. Yes, we did. Delivery. I'll just go ahead and type it in. It took way too long to find it. So delivery, I'll just type it in. Delivery income. I think this is 48. Yeah. For $30. And then your accounts receivable was two sixty five forty three. Where is my M? There it is. Equal sum. All right, for two two sixty five forty two. I had forty three. Two sixty five forty three. Oh yes, I do. Sorry about that. Two six five four three. Got it. And then I just wrote Katie's Coffee. In parentheses, I put Katie's Coffee Corner. Um, invoice number one oh six. And then for term, I put 1% 15, net 30. All right. And then I went to the general ledger. Can you give me one second?
I'm good. And then our, in our general ledger, go to accounts receivable. And put in the 265, well, it would be the date, 624. Receive payment, or no, not receive payment. Katie's, cor Katie's Coffee Corner. And that was invoice number 106. General Journal 13. With a debit of 265.43. What's my running balance? It would be can't read my writing. No worries. Eighty eighty four thirty three. Okay, so we're didn't so we're not subtracting, we're adding. Oh wait. Thirteen or one thousand thir one thousand three hundred seventy four seventeen. Good. One thousand seventy four seventeen. Then we would go to sales under regular coffee. And it would be six twenty-four. Invoice number one oh six. You can put the terms. Okay. One percent, fifteen net thirty. All right. How many pounds did we sell for regular coffee? Twenty pounds. Said 6580, a debit, a general journal 13 for 6580. Okay, so not a debit, it's a credit because we're increasing our sales. So good. So what's my running balance here? Minus fifty three eighty four. Minus fifty three eighty four. Where did you get that number? Because our normal balance was nineteen ninety six, and then I subtracted the sixty five eighty. Nineteen ninety six. What? What? Which? Which one are you looking okay, at? I... We're at sales regular coffee. I'm under the wrong one.
Okay, I'm sorry. No worries. Take your time. It's Tuesday. Come in, you know, we had a good weekend last week, so let's go. Would it be 5.50, 9.30? yes. Looks like my spreadsheets are all back together now. <laughs> I'm going to go to Supreme Coffee. June 24th. That one was 15 pounds. General General 13. Was a credit of fifty nine eighty five. Total five ninety eight fifty. Good. And then go right underneath it to the ceramic mugs. Six twenty-four. It was twenty-two mugs. General Journal thirteen. Credit of one hundred nine seventy-eight. So your balance would be seven fifty seventy-two. Good. And go to delivery income. Day six twenty four. Invoice one oh six. General General Journal thirteen for thirty dollars credit. Your balance is one fifty. Good. Then we have to go to our subsidiary ledger. Can you give me one second real quick? Yeah. Okay, good. And go to Katie's co Coffee Corner. Date is six twenty four. And you could put received. 20 pounds of regular coffee. Okay. And 15 pounds of regular, I mean Supreme. And 22 mugs. Invoice is 106. General Journal 13. Terms is 1%, 15, net 30. Due date is seven four. I mean, I'm sorry. The discount date is seven four. Uh, seven four. Is it ten or fifteen days? Oh, fifteen. I did ten. Okay. Well, let's let's double check. Fifteen days net thirty. All right. Could be seven fourteen. 
that will be no. Subtract five days. The ninth, seven yeah. ninth. Mm -hmm. And the due date would be seven twenty four. Seven twenty four. Good. Sales will be two sixty five forty three. Oops, I'm on returns and allowances, my bad. Two what was it? Two fifty six forty three? Two sixty five forty three. And your accounts receivable would be two sixty five forty three. Yep. She owes us a new amount now for invoice number 105. Good. Then we have to go to our inventory sheet. Inventory sheet. Okay. Well, there's one more thing we should do before we go there. Who is Katie? She's a customer. Is there someone who takes care of Katie? Oh, um, Albert? Yes. So we'll go to Albert. Mm -hmm. He's 624. Katie's Coffee Corner. Invoice 106. Sale amount was 265.43. And we don't put the 10% yet because he didn't get paid yet. Well, in this case, he, 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 already, he already completed the task. Okay. Then his 10% commission would be 2654. Good. 2654. So in this case, we already made an, in, an indication that we owe him. So when he gets paid on Friday, he, we're going to pay him for the 140 So here we're starting a new amount so we can accumulate for the next payroll period. Okay, so in this case, he, he earned $26.54 for the next payroll period, not the current one. Then we can go to inventory. Inventory, yes. Okay, so we put under regular coffee, we put six twenty four. Twenty pounds. That'd go under cost of goods sold. Mm -hmm. And it'd be at one point six one five two seven. Good. Total be thirty two thirty one. 
32, 31, okay? And then under the inventory on hand, you would subtract 20 to get 6250. 6250, good. And then your your total would be $100.95. $195, good. Divide that by the 6250 and you get 1.6152. Mm-hmm. Good. And go under Supreme Coffee. Get six twenty-four. The date. Fifteen pounds coffee. At one eighty four. At a dollar eighty four, right? It's our only batch that we have left. Right. It'd be twenty seven sixty. Now, I'm not sure if this inventory on hand is going to be correct because mine's kind of messed up. What do you mean by that? Well, I have a nine. Ninety okay, I'm right. Ninety nine point five oh. Mm-hmm. And subtract the twenty seven sixty. Well no, you're not no, gonna no 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 no. Okay, go ahead. Subtract the fifteen. Yes, good. And it'd be eighty four point five. Eighty four point five, good. And your, t your total would be 183.08 minus the 27.60. Okay. 27.60. Good. And, Once she changed the quantity, shouldn't her total automatically adjusted if she had the formula in there? Yeah, if she had the formula in there, yes. Okay. Now, in this case, you, she can do it that way too. That way works just as well as long as she doesn't change the cost per item. Right. That works just fine as well. And that way, you'll be able to find your penny that way too. Um, but in this case, like, I just did it automatically so you, we don't have to keep calculating it over and over and over again and doing that part. I'd rather save some extra time and um, do the formula to just times it from each other because at the end of the day, your cost per item will stay constant. However, your quantity is always going to change. Right. So in this case, that works just perfectly fine if she did it that way, too. If she took her original whatever whatever it was minus the twenty seven um, ninety, she would get this. She she should get the same answer of one fifty five forty eight. Did you get one fifty five forty eight? Yes. Perfect. Cool. And it comes out to a dollar eighty four. Yep. Then this okay. So this one, you're never going to change because we're looking at batches. So this the the value that you're calculating here. You're not constantly change. You're not constantly changing or finding the average cost. In this case, you already know what each cost per item is going to be. So in this case, yeah, now she's doing. Now you're doing the calculation wrong. Is that your calculation should be on the total cost, not the cost per item? Because every time you sell an item, it doesn't matter. It, it matters which batch you're taking it from, and a good indicator to tell which batch is it is going to be by using your cost per item. That's going to stay constant because you know for sure that this batch, no matter how many you sell, it's going to be for $1.84. In this case, we only have that batch. But moving on forth, when we actually make another purchase of inventory, right, you're going to keep them separate. You don't need to calculate the average cost per item because we're not looking at the average. We're looking at um, batches.
Right. Go to ceramic coffee cups. This, the date is 624. 22. Okay, now, with ceramic coffee cups, what kind of inventory is it? Weighted average. Okay, no, what kind of inventory? Oh, like periodic. Do we care for sales? No. No. So in this case, you don't need to update your inventory at any given time. Because we don't do it until we wait till the very end where we actually go downstairs and check out and actually fit, take a physical count of inventory. So in this case, we don't need to do anything there. Okay. All right. So we have our cost of goods sold for our for twenty seven sixty and for thirty two thirty one. So what do you do with this information? Oh. Now would we have to do cost of goods sold? Correct. On our general journal? Good. So this one, I can grab from here. What do you mean you're lost? Okay. Okay. So we put today or the date six twenty four. Good. Cost of goods sold. Good. For regular coffee. Good. And then cost of goods sold for Supreme Coffee. Good. And then costs. No. And then just regular coffee? Correct. We're taking it right out of our inventory. So it'd be the regular coffee would be thirty two thirty one debit. And the supreme coffee would be twenty seven sixty debit. And then the regular coffee would be a credit of thirty two thirty one. And supreme coffee would be a credit of twenty seven sixty. Good. Then we'd have to go to our general ledger. Hold on. So description? Oh. Um, sold 20 pounds of regular coffee. Mm-hmm. Or you can just, just... And 15 pounds of Supreme. Okay. You can use invoice numbers. Or you could just say, I just sold, I just sold this to Katie's. Invoice player. number 106. Invoice number 106. Good. All right, now we... Can I see this worksheet real quick? The what? Can I see the top of this worksheet? Top of this worksheet. Is that far enough or you want more? Because um, we only entered this right here. Yeah, I'm missing the one on top of all things ceramic invoice, 162 credit. That's the last thing that we just dropped, we entered in there. Okay, I'm good. Okay. 
right, so the ledger. We would go to cost the goods sold regular coffee. Okay. Six twenty four. Sold twenty pounds. Yes, we sold twenty pounds. General General thirteen for a debit of thirty two thirty one. Total would be. Oh shoot, I messed up. Four sixty-eight forty-nine. Four sixty-eight. Okay, we're not subtracting. Thirty-six eleven. All right. Make sure that you're in the cost of goods sold for regular coffee. Yeah. All right. So your previous one should have been four seventy-one forty-nine. Five oh three eighty. Five oh three eighty, yes, good. And go to Supreme Coffee. Date six twenty four. Used fifteen pounds. Sold fifteen pounds. General Journal thirteen. Twenty-seven sixty. Total of five twenty-eight oh two. Five twenty-eight oh two. Good. Then go to regular coffee. Maybe six twenty-four. Use twenty pounds of coffee or twenty pounds. General Journal thirteen. Credit of thirty two thirty one. Balance is one hundred dollars and ninety five cents. Good, which we know matches our inventory worksheet. And then go to Supreme Coffee, 624, sold 15 pounds, General Journal 13, credit of 2760. Balance would be one fifty five forty eight. One fifty five forty eight, which we solved for in our inventory worksheet. Can you give me one second? Okay. That should be it. Good. Wait, Nicole, you said you were okay? Yeah. 
You're done? Yeah, I'm okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so there we go. We sold to Katie's Coffee Corner. All right, what's next? Received from the Atlas Coffee Imports. So it'd be six twenty four. We put regular coffee. Regular coffee, good. The number is one two oh two oh. And you know, debit one seventy three seventy five. And Supreme Coffee is one two oh four oh. And debit two oh one twenty five. And then accounts payable. It's twenty thousand for the number. And you would credit three seventy five. And then uh, for description, I put Atlas Coffee imports invoice three fifty five. Um, for term, I would put 1%, 15, net 30. And go to the... General ledger under regular coffee. Put six twenty four. Used one hundred and twenty five pounds of coffee. We didn't use it, did we? Didn't we? Sold, it. sold it. We didn't sell it. What did we do? What did we do? Received it. We received it, so purchase 125 pounds, okay. Uh, General Journal 13. Be 173.75. Total be two seventy four seventy. Two seventy four seventy. Good. Then go to Supreme Coffee. Six twenty four. Purchased one hundred and twenty five pounds. General Journal thirteen. Debit 
Total be 356.73. 356.73, good. And then go to accounts payable. Invoice number 355, General Journal 13, Credit 375, Your total be 4876.86. Good. Then we have to go to our subsidiary ledger. Go to Atlas Coffee. Six twenty four hundred and twenty five pounds of regular coffee and one hundred and twenty five pounds of supreme coffee. Invoice three fifty five General Journal thirteen. The terms was one one percent fifteen net thirty. date would be 7-9, or I mean the discount date, mm -hmm. and then the due date would be 7-24, invoice amount was 375, and your total would be 1473.75. Good. All right, we just tacked on another bill, so we have a total of four outstanding bills. Good. Then we go to inventory. And on the regular coffee, the six twenty four. And we purchased 125 pounds. At a dollar thirty-nine. So your total would be one three one seventy-three seventy-five. And then go to Supreme Coffee. Quantity was 125 pounds at a dollar sixty-one. Gives you two hundred one twenty-five. There's no freights yet, so that'd be it. Okay. One more thing that we still have left to do. We 
We have to do our inventory on hand. Inventory on hand. Not yet. We're, we're not calculating it we yet. We don't have our freight. Good. We go to our purchase order. We need to make sure that we check mark our purchase orders to verify that we did indeed receive our inventory. Invoice number. 355. 355. June 24th. Uh, we don't need to verify the date. Just verify that we received the purchase order on the 22nd. Oh, yeah, so under invoice number, we'd put invoice 355. Correct. Just so then we can verify, okay, we did receive our purchase orders here, right? We matched it with the amount that we were quoted for. So there we go. Good. That should be it. Good. So we go on to the next, uh, where we will be paying for the freight. So we'll start off with the date, 624. We'll go with regular coffee, Supreme coffee. PR numbers 12020 and 12040. And then we'll credit checking account number 10100. What I did was I put the total amount of 6250 in my credit column for my checking and then uh, I divided by two got 3125 for regular and supreme coffee. Now you want to go to, after that, you want to go to the check registry because we need a check number. <laughs> yes, we do. And uh, our check number is going to be number 1524 for Freightline and total amount of 6250. Whoop, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Freightline is this one. There you go. Okay. So we can go back to our journal and make a little note real quick. And all I put was Freightline, the invoice number of 632, the check number 1524, and COD. And then uh, what yeah, I did is COD. I... Go ahead. Okay. And then uh, since I have these amounts, I jumped straight to the inventory worksheet before I did my general ledger just so I can finish that off since I started it from the previous transaction. Okay. So let's see. I put in my freight of 3125. Ooh, I gotta get in the right worksheet here. <laughs> um, let's see where you at. Okay. Yeah, I got a total of um, total cost of 205. And then I added the 125 to the 6250 to make it 18750. And then I added the 205 to the 195 to get 30595, which gives me a new cost per item of 1.63173. Then I went over to Supreme Coffee to update it. And 
put in my freight of 3125 to get a total of 232.50. This gives me a cost per item of 1.86 for that one. And then I moved that batch over into my inventory as well. Oops. Once we're finished there, we'll go to our general ledger. Under our assets for regular coffee. And I added the freight charges. Let's see, it should be this one. So 624. Freight cost. GJ13. Which one are you on? Uh, the general ledger under assets, um, regular yeah. copy. Oh, shoot, I'm in checking. Let me know when you're good. Place. Hang on. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Six twenty four freight cost GJ thirteen for thirty one twenty five. Bring your total up to three oh five ninety five. down to Supreme Coffee. And it'll be today's date, 624. Oops. Okay. And then I just put freight costs, GJ13. Mm -hmm. We're at 3125, which will bring that total up to three eighty seven ninety eight. Three eight seven ninety eight. Perfect. We match on our inventory worksheet. have to, last but not least, the subsidiary ledger. Oh, you forgot one more account. Wait a minute. Checking? Checking. Oh, yeah, checking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. We got you. All right, here it is. Checking. There we have it. Writing another NSF check. GJ13 for the 6250 in the credit. It brings that balance to 2203.69 credit wise. guys, it starts looking better as we go. <laughs> uh. Okay. 
then we'll go subsidiary ledger. <laughs> yes, subsidiary ledger. And we want to go under vendors to freight line. That went too far. There we go. Will be 624. Delivered 250 pounds of coffee. Check 1524. Uh, invoice was 632. TJ 13. What was the invoice number again? 632, GJ13, terms were COD. Let's see, let me pan over here. Uh, under invoice ma, I put 6250. For payment, I put 6250, which shows a zero balance. Good. Okay, one second. We're finished with that transaction and that uh, general journal will be going to page 14. Perfect. Okay, so again, one line's not going to be enough to squeeze a transaction there, so we don't need to draw anything there. So we are on the new general journal. And don't do like I did from now on. Put JG14. I had to go back and change a couple. <laughs> it happens. I know. <sighs> All right. So then what happened next? We want to deliver an order to the corner bookstore. Yes. We didn't for Albert didn't forget about him. So what we have is we have terms. We have an invoice number and all our other information. So let's start with the general journal. Today's date, 624. And we will start off with accounts receivable, PR number 11,000. Yes, excellent time to do a copy and paste. And under our notes, I changed it to corner bookstore invoice 105 with the terms. Now what I like to do here is I like to start over in my credit for sales regular coffee and put the amount of forty nine thirty five. Then for supreme coffee it will be thirty nine ninety. Then for the mugs it will be seventy four eighty five. Delivery income is 30. And for my accounts receivable, I just totaled these up, equal sum to get a 194.10. And that matches my invoice, so I am good there. 
Ten. <clears throat> now, uh, let's see. Um, I want to go to my uh, general ledger. And I want to go into accounts receivable. Will be under assets. For today's date with the invoice 106 or 105, I'm sorry. <laughs> GJ 14. And a debit at 194.10. Brings that balance to one five six eight twenty seven. Good. Then we want to go to sales under revenues. Start with sales regular coffee. Six twenty four sold ten pounds, invoice one oh five. TJ fourteen credit for forty nine thirty five. Brings that total to 608.35. 608. Oh, 65. <laughs> okay. Got one second. Okay, I'm good. Then office cream coffee. So 15 pounds in voice 105. TJ 14 for a credit of 3990. This brings that total to 638.40. Hold on, we sold 15 pounds? Or Supreme was 10. Supreme was 10. 10, yeah, 10 pounds. Sorry. Just went up and looked. And then uh, this one was, then up here is 15 then. Yeah, I had them switched. Okay, that's. So 15 and 10 pounds, GJ 14. For thirty nine ninety, so therefore, what is my ending uh, balance? Six thirty eight forty. Six thirty eight forty. So regular coffee was fifteen pounds. pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a little dyslexia there. <laughs> There will go ceramic coffee mugs, right below it. Strip twenty four. I got figured that one six twenty four. Yep, sold fifteen mugs, right? Fifteen mugs. Bless you. Thank you. Yep, fifteen mugs. 
confirming. <laughs> yes, okay. So it was 15 mugs. Wait here a minute. Yes, okay. Uh, anyways, let's see. So let's go JG14. The amount was 74.85. So bring that total to 825.57. 7485 to bring a grand total of 825.57. Good. And then we got one more spot yet. We have to go to the delivery income. It'll be 624, invoice 105, GJ14. Credit for 30, we should bring at the 240 now. Or no, I'm, I'm way far down, 150, or 180. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I got a lot more of my cheats here, so I'm trying to decipher it. No worries. Now we need to go off to the subsidiary ledger when everyone's caught up. Everyone cut up? Yeah, you. I'm ready. Okay. okay. So I went to the subsidiary ledger, and because I forgot once, I went straight to commissions and took care of Albert first. <laughs> okay. So I put in a date. I put the invoice in 105. Uh, or I did my math for 1941, which gives him now a total of 65.36 for this payroll. What did you say? The 1941 and then 45.95 should give him a total of 65.36 so far. How did you get 49? 45, 45. 45. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, never mind. Um, where am I looking at? Oh, no. I took the 1941. I just I just did this on my own. I went, I have it off to the side. So his is right now, his total for the two sales for the next pay is 65.36. How did you get that, though? Because the last sale that we did was. For two hundred and sixty-five dollars and forty-three cents. Oh, you know what? I didn't. Okay, no, actually, it should be two hundred five fifty-four. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't add that top one. Okay, got you. Yeah, I have an equal sum off to the right, and I because I have I, I put their timesheet underneath it. I I forgot to add it. So no worries. Okay, so fifth forty-five. 95? Yeah. Is what everybody got? Yeah. Perfect. You can need one. 40. Um, Which one are we on? Yeah. The commissions. We just calculated uh, the corner bookstore book okay. for the 194.10. To give us nineteen dollars and forty one cents, and we just combine those two together. Oh, 
for the 1941 and the 2653. Correct. to our customers to the corner bookstore. Data 624. From my notes, I just put the terms in there. There's a spot for the terms. 1% uh, 15 net 30. Oh, no. Um, that was just for my note. Uh, invoice 105, TJ 14, 1% 15 net 30. 1% 15, oopsies, 15 net 30. So your discount date should be 9 July. Due date 24 July. Sales for one ninety four ten. Should give you a balance of one ninety four ten for that transaction. Uh -huh. Balance of two forty seven ninety nine. Two forty seven ninety nine. That's it for that one. Yep, good. That's it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Go back to Alan, please. Which one? Alan. Yeah. Albert Allen. That's the commissions, right? Mm-hmm. So here, because I just I just went I just did the formula backwards, so I just took nineteen forty one and just added the twenty six fifty four to give the total of forty five ninety ninety five. But if you have this a spot as twenty six fifty four, and you want to add back that nine that nineteen forty forty one, it's up to you. As long as you understand that. These two numbers are just combined, that's all. That's what was messing me up. Because <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> 1941 mm -hmm. plus the 2654? Correct. Should give you a total of the 4595. Yes. For some reason, this isn't looking right. Okay. Okay, so if you want to start back from what we had before, it's this and then. Right, you could have added these together, but um, once again, I'm doing a running balance on my left, on my right column. So if I'd had it like this, right, of course you can equal sum it, but right now, it's it looks like I'm not having the right amount here. I want to put a running balance, so I just took this number out, and I just added these two numbers together to get forty five ninety five. Okay. That's all I did.
Mm-hmm. Everyone's caught up. We have to do our cost of goods sold now. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Let's go to our inventory. All right, let me make the comment real quick. Okay. V corner. Okay, so, yes. Regular coffee? Yes. Six twenty-four. Fifteen pounds. Wait a minute. Let me make sure that I didn't I just want to look and make sure here. Okay, yeah, regular coffee was fifteen and the supreme was ten. Mm -hmm. So um, uh we're going to use the cost per item 1.63173 to give you 24.48. And then we uh, subtract the 15 from the 187.50 to give us 172.50. Do the same for the 305.95 minus the 24.48 to give us 281.47. New uh, cost per item 1.63171. What did you minus? It was the 309.95 minus. No, 305.95 minus... 24.28? Yes. 24.48. Or 24.48, yes. Oh, huh. that's what I don't know. Okay. And then we go to our Supreme Coffee. Date will be 624. Quantity's 10. Cost per item is 1.84, which should give you 1840. subtract 10 pounds from the, yep. I don't have an answer for this. Mine's some further down. Anybody else? What did you guys get? So it'd be the 8450 minus the 10, right? 84.50, yes, minus the 10. So 73.50? 74.50. 74.50. And then the 155.48 minus the 18.40? If you want to do it that way, yes. One thirty-seven oh eight. One thirty-seven oh eight. Good. And what we want to do next is plug these numbers into our general journal. $1.63171. 
the copy is 2448. The supreme copy is 1840. Can you hold on a second? Yes. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Thank you. They'll go to cost of goods sold first. Supreme copy. Date six twenty four. Sold ten pounds. TJ fourteen. Eighteen forty. You should give a five forty six forty two for your debit balance. Five forty six forty two. Good. And then last but not least, we need to shoot over to our assets under regular copy. Surprisingly, this is the only sheet, the two sheets where I got the pounds right <laughs> the whole time. Oh, so, okay. So, regular copy, 624, <laughs> sold 15 pounds, invoice 105, GJ 14, and a credit for 2448. This should bring that one to 281.47. Didn't you sell 10 pounds? No, and this was 15. Yeah, it was 15 of the regular and 10 of the Supreme. Yeah. But everywhere else, I had it reversed, except for on the inventory worksheet and these sheets. I don't know why. <laughs> so then it would be a credit? Credit, yes, because we sold it. And we're going to use our inventory worksheet. We got 281.47, which is exactly what we have here in our ledger. 281.47. Where did you confirm that amount at? The inventory worksheet. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we calculated it here, right? When we updated our inventory. We calculated what the ending of total amount is in our inventory on hand. Are you good? Yes. Okay. So then 
off to Supreme Coffee. Date 6-24. Sold 10 pounds with invoice 105. TJ 14. And credit of 1840. Which brings that to 369.58. Good. And then let's. We can also double confirm that in our inventory worksheet, which. Let's see. Inventory worksheet. Yes, we are at 369 dollars 58 Good. What is that one under? Supreme Coffee. We're under Supreme Coffee. Yes. Okay. All right, so it is exactly 3.01 right now. I'm gonna call break.